Hello and welcome back to episode 78 of Take to the Sky. Today it opens FC. We're back. We've got nine games left in the season. We're still top of the league. And I'm almost a bit worried that we're going to get promoted. So since you were last with us when we had the disappointing loss to Chester in the FA Cup third round replay, we then bounced back with a 2-0 win against Wimbledon. We then lost 1-0 to Exeter, who were bottom of the league. But then we bounced back, had a 1-1 draw with Plymouth, 0-0 with Doncaster. So when I say bounce back, I don't know what I'm talking about. We beat Southend 2-1 before a loss to Cambridge United 1-0. We most recently beat bottom of the league Lincoln City. 3-1. We've got Scunthorpe who are 23rd today as well as MK Dons. As mentioned in the league we're top but we are only top by one point and that's from three teams so very very tight at the top in the promotion battle. I almost want us to just drop into the playoffs and not win the playoffs because I think it's too soon for us to go into the championship. Obviously we're not going to just give up and purposely miss out but I wouldn't complain if we do. In the FA Cup Fourth round, Chester lost 3-1 to Burnley. I think we could have done better than that. So still a little bit grumpy about being knocked out there, but it is what it is. Let's get into the game against Scunthorpe. And the lineup for the game against Scunthorpe, we've got Gaudi in goal, a back three of Bradford, Gray and Ari, Akinola, Watson, Pring and Vukaj as the middle four, Moanga, Sharp and Bennett as the front three, because, well... Why wouldn't you go with that front three? They score lots of goals. Devon is not quite fully fit at the moment. So he'll be back in very soon. But let's uh, see if we can get a win against a team who's battling relegation and almost doom them a little bit if we can. We've got a highlight straight from the kickoff here. Cresswell going long upfield. Gray volleys it away. And Tanner heads it. But Vukaj collects. Gets it to Bennett. And he goes back to Pring. Trying to find space for a cross here. He's tackled by Thomas though. Wins the ball back. Plays it to Fukaj on the edge of the area. Inside to Muanga. It's blocked and breaks to Akinola. Whose cross is blocked as well. And Leesley clears it away. Gray collects it though. Back to Ari. Who goes long ball over the top. Cleared away a bit awkwardly to Akinola. Cross goes in. Muanga with the shot. But it's a wild shot and it's over the bar. So very quiet first half. We've had the better of it, but not being able to actually get a highlight or a goal out of it, unfortunately. So we'll get into the second half and hopefully something comes our way soon. Throw in for Scunthorpe just inside their own half. Leasley goes down the wing. Bandaria finds Kamara and he's going to attack our box. Watson with a good tackle there. However, Kamara keeps the ball, gets a cross in. Vukaj comes into the box to head that one away. And it's back to Tanner, who goes back to Virtue, or to Llewellyn. Kamara and Bandera get across to Barkley. Kamara brings it down very nicely and force Galdi into a very good save at his near post there. Out for a corner, however, which Thomas is going to send in. Goes towards the far post and Pring has headed it away to safety. Or at least to another corner, which Thomas is going to... Send in again. Kamara with a free header this time, but sends it over the bar. Can make a couple of changes now. Pring coming off for Hill. Watson come off for Torre just to avoid that yellow card. And we'll also send Devani on for Sharp for the last 13 minutes or so. The game ends 0 0. Very solid defensive day, but nothing great going forward. A little bit disappointing in the end to draw against Scunthorpe. But obviously, they're very much struggling in the relegation battle. They'll do really well to get out of that. We drop down to second. However, Burton Albion have a game in hand over us now, which would send them top of, well, yeah, top of the league if they win. So, a little bit concerning there. What is surprising is having us and Notts County in this Battle for the promotion when we're both new teams to League One. But be interesting to see how it plays out. And let's head into the game against MK Dons. And for the lineup against Milton Keynes, we've got Gaudi in goal, 
Phillips, Gray, and Arry as the back three. Then we've got Akinola, Albright, and Bring, and Vukaj. Mwanga, Devani, and Bennett as the front three. Early highlight here, one minute in. Phillips with the free kick from deep. Go short to Albrighton. And then back to Phillips. Forward to Devani, but it's headed away. Banak breaks away. Plays a great ball through to Bora, who buries the chance. And MK Duns are already 1-0 up. And that was coming from our possession as well, which is really disappointing. Just a lump ball forward has given it away. And it's the three Bs linking up. And then Gaudi, not anything he can do from that position. Bukaj tries to get a throw in, but it's headed away to Bora. Back to Hackford, who goes past Vukaj there. Ball towards the far post. Tuck has brought it down very nicely and forced a very good save out of Tuck. Gaudi tried to get it back again. Hit the post and then the save. Oh, Brighton with the corner, but straight to Gonzalez which makes me worry about where this highlight's going. He's going to go long here, towards the right-hand side. Tucker brings it down very well. Phillips needs to get across to him, lumps it away, but only as far as Frederick. Forward to Hackford on the right now, back to Frederick. Howard goes over the top to Tucker in space, and Phillips has gone in and kicked him down. It went in the back of the net anyway, but it's a penalty. So, in some ways, we've got a chance here. But it's 2-0. Bora makes no mistake from the spot. And he looks quite a good striker from the looks of him. He's been in a few dangerous positions already. And one-on-one -on, -one on a penalty doesn't make any mistake there. Phillips with the throw-in gets it to Moanga. Back to Phillips. Inside to Old Brighton, and then Phillips... Old Brighton sends it towards the far post. Fukash with the header. It's hit the bar and is cleared away out for a throw in. Old Brighton clears the ball away, but Bagfoot, Baggett heads it down to Cox. Inside to Awad. And then he goes forward to Banak, forward to Borre. Tucker trying to get past Phillips. Gets a shot off, but that one was a bit more wild. Goal kick. And we get it to Ari. Forward towards Devani, but. There's no effort from Devani to win that header. Tucker collects it on the left wing now. Ball goes in, Gray heads away. Or Brighton nods it on again. But it's coming straight back at us again. Hack of Hackford back to Banak. Tries to go forward to Bore, but Devani heads it on to, Deva to Bennett. Sorry, One on one with the keeper. Can't finish it. Back to Vukaj, whose shot goes straight at the keeper. Vukaj throws it into Bennett. Manages to get past his man. Back to Pring, and then Bennett sends across towards the far post, but Cox heads away. Phillips collects it and goes back to Gray. Back to Phillips, and Gray goes forward to no one. Bore's tackled by Old Brighton very nicely. Vukaj back to Ari, but then they exchange it a couple more times. Ari forward to Devani, but back to Old Brighton, who's. I don't know what he's done. He's let Tucker through one on one with the keeper, and Gowdy makes a fantastic save, but that is pathetic from Old Brighton. To the point he's coming off at half time for that. That is ridiculous. The corner comes in. Very good head up from Gray to get it away, but Tucker collects it. And then comes back down the wing to Hackford. Frederick. Tackled by Vukaj. Back with a throw in here for MK Dons. Banak back to Frederick. Ball towards the far post. Nobody's marking Tucker and he's buried the chance. And Phillips has been so poor in this first half. He's not been tracking Tucker at all. And that's just another example of it there. What's he doing? What is he doing? Another prone for MK Dons. It's forward to Hackford. Back for, to Frederick. And then Pring gets a foot in this time. Devani holding it for a little bit longer than I would like. But he's trying to get space down this right-hand side. And eventually gets it back to Akinola. Pring knocks it into the back of the net. And it's about time we actually created a good chance here. Devani does 
well, considering I was saying he was holding on to onto it for too long, gets it back to Akinola, whips across at Pring, who manages to direct it into the net. So we lose losing three one at half time. But we're gonna tell them we expect to see much better in the second half, and we are gonna bring O'Brien off for Torre straight away. Gonna make changes now, twenty minutes to go. Sharp's coming on for Muanga. And then Devon is gonna go out to be the pressing forward. And we'll also send Burn on for Fukaj, will we? No, we'll bring Phillips off for Bicer. We've got a highlight here before the subs. Fukaj sends it in. Buanga doesn't quite get his head to it. Akinola collects it though, and Awad heads away. Bora plays it back to Kasumu. Bore now with a great chance. Akinola does really well to stop that, but Frederick collects it. And he plays the ball through to Tucker. Phillips actually marking his man for once. Still gets. Beaten and Gowdy forced to make the save. Awad with a free kick. Gray heads it away. Aljara collects it though. Devani does well to take it back off him. Back to Gowdy. And then Ari goes long upfield. Sharp heads it on to Bennett, who's got a great chance here to equalise. It wouldn't have been an equaliser, but he misses the chance anyway. Out for a corner. Vukash is going to send the corner in here. Goes towards the far post, but Cosgrove heads away. Gonzalez with a goal kick for MK Dons. It's nodded on, but Ari is there to deal with it and goes back to Galdi. But we are struggling to get back into this game. Ari goes long towards Sharp, who can't head it down to Torre. Howard intercepts it. Aljara breaking through. And really good block from Ari there. He clears it away, but only as far as Cox. Awad goes back to Tucker. Aljara finds it through to Tucker. And Tucker really should have had a goal there. And we've lost 3-1 to MK Dons. Really poor result there. Poor performance all round. That does see us now drop out of the top two. And it's all level games now. We're only one point behind Burton Albion. Two points behind Charlton. It could be a lot worse. A lot more teams could have got results. That would have seen us drop further down. But we're still in with a shout. So we're back for the games against Sheffield Wednesday and Shrewsbury to end the season. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment how you think we're going to finish the season. I think we're going to end up in the playoffs, which I wouldn't complain about. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content on the channel. And thank you very much for watching.